previously we experienced one of the worst rainstorms we've had in the past 10 years in this area. We got somewhere between eight and 10 inches of rain within a span of two days, and it caused a lot of damage around the homestead. A lot of what we worked on with the rock and the fence project, a lot of that got washed away. It's gonna to have to be redone. We've got some really big washouts around the property. Uh, some of the dirt that we've graded out from the backyard and moved, some of that has washed out, so we've got to get that taken care of. So our main project for today We've got to get the backyard here behind the house uh, graded out a little bit more. We're gonna be working on shooting some grade elevation to make sure that all this water can come out and it doesn't stay a soupy mess all winter long. We've got some more rain coming in the forecast. It's dried out just a little bit. It's still a little bit muddy. So we're gonna to try to push this dirt around. It's frozen this morning. It's been really cold for the past two or three mornings down in the low teens and so I'm experiencing a little bit of trouble with uh, the top three or four inches of ground being frozen and it's hard as a rock. So our goal for today is to get this backyard smoothed out, leveled out a little bit, where all this water that comes off this rock can make it out. And there's not water standing in the backyard all winter long, so it's not a soupy muddy mess. So I got the yard kind of leveled off and just raked out with the track hoe. Plan is now to go get the big excavator since it's a lot heavier, the tracks are a lot wider. We're gonna kind of pack this down so that this doesn't stay mud and hopefully the water will run off of it. It's pretty wet, so I don't really know how this is gonna turn out. It may not pack at all, but we're gonna go give it a shot. So I was hoping to get the dump truck back here behind the house and behind the pool to load up some of this dry red clay that I've got piled up here to fix some of the spots that washed out during that bad rainstorm that we had. So I think the backyard is still just a little too wet. It doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight back here just a couple hours a day and it's been real cold so the water's really not drying out of the ground at all. Since we can't get the dump truck back here today, got another little project that I work want to work on up here had a lot of water come down the side of the bank through here and I want to get that routed to where it flows down onto the rock and then it can drain on out with the rest of the water. During that last big storm that we had, we had a lot of water that come off this pasture and it actually flowed underneath the fence here, 
run down in the backyard. So I've just dug a little ditch right here to try to direct the water out on top of this rock to where then it will run down my riprap and go out by the house and down into the creek. And we got a lot of water right through here when it rained real heavy and it washed all the topsoil off the bank in the backyard. So I'm just gonna come in here and get this dressed up with some hand tools, rake and a shovel, smooth this up, make it look real nice, try to pack it down a little bit. So hopefully the next few days, we got some rain in the forecast, it won't wash this away so bad and it won't be so muddy. We got all this smoothed out, looking pretty good. It's hard to tell on camera, but we had a lot of water coming down right through there where that post is, at the end of that post and it was traveling under the fence going right down through there where the track goes sitting and then running down and washing out the backyard so i think that's going to work pretty good we've got a few more projects to do concerning the water around the homestead here we're going to go on the other side of the house now down where the goats are at and work on the road going to the barn try to get a ditch on one side of the road to carry the water and put a pipe in that way, it'll quit washing the road out to the barn. Well, good morning. Coming down here to check on the animals. Coming to check on the little goats. And our female German Shepherd that we usually keep in here was not out. She's currently pregnant, or she was currently pregnant. And I can hear baby puppies from out here in the gate. So we're gonna go ahead and check on the baby puppies. Hey, Zena. Hey, girl. How many you got there? I just had these puppies. If you ever build a dog house, build one with a door you can get in. I didn't really think about that when I was building this one. But luckily it's big enough to get in. And I can squeeze through the little door. But we have seven little German Shepherd puppies they're actually a german shepherd mix so xena here is a full-blooded registered german shepherd and the father of these puppies are great pyrenees so i'm curious to see what they're going to look like when they grow up so now that we got the puppies taken care of and everything's good with them i want to work down here near the goats and the dog house We've got a natural little drainage ditch right here, right where these three cedar trees are. And there's actually a pipe that used to come out of the ground right here that carried all the water down to the creek. I wanted to save these three cedar trees, but I've decided I gotta take them down along with all this other brush in the back. We're gonna clean this ditch out so that we can dig a little bit of a swale down the top side of this road. We'll put a culvert in somewhere right here and carry carry this water under the road down that natural drainage ditch into the creek like it has been for years. We're getting all this water coming down the bank from behind the house and it's just washing straight across the road. So I want to put in a little ditch top side of the road to some kind of little catch basin right here, pop it underneath the road, and then that'll eventually be pasture one day so that'll just flow through the pasture and on into the creek. We're gonna wind up saving these cedar trees when I cut them down, we'll limb them up. I got a little pile back here behind the barn. Those will be good for future projects, building around the house, post, whatever.
Well, that's the easy part, pushing them down with the excavator. I'm really glad I got that here. The hard part now is limbing all these. There's probably a thousand limbs on these three trees. So probably what I'll do is I'm gonna carry them right down there to an old uh, brush pile that I've been burning and I'll probably limb them up down there. That way I ain't gotta carry all them limbs everywhere. But for now, I'm just gonna leave these sitting right here. They're not in my way as of yet. We're gonna get down there and work on taking those trees down. We'll have to carry them around the back of the little goat pen there to that brush pile down there. So I'm gonna start working on that. Well, that didn't take too long, just about an hour. Got all these trees taken down. All I'm gonna do now is kind of break them up and we're gonna be carrying them over there and stacking them in that brush pile. Get all this moved up. I got one pretty good size stump in here that I gotta get up. But if the little 35 can't do it, I'll go get the, uh, the big E70, dig it up with that. So we'll see, we'll get all this cleaned up first. We'll get those cedar trees up there limbed up and smooth all, smooth all this up before we work on that stump. So just a little bit more work and we'll have this cleaned up. We'll be able to put in this ditch right down through here. And hopefully we'll be one step closer to solving our water runoff issues. Well, I believe that's gonna be it for tonight. We got all this smoothed out, leveled out good enough for now. This summer or sometime I'll come in here with a har and har this up. The wind's been blowing like 100 mile an hour all day today. I'm froze to death, so I'm going to call it a night. We'll see y'all in the morning.